Welcome to this demo on testing the security of SOAP Web Services with IBM Security AppScan Standard. In the demo today, we'll see an introduction to AppScan SOAP testing capabilities. We'll exercise a SOAP web service using AppScan's generic service client. And then we'll finish by testing a web service for SQL injection vulnerabilities. Let's begin. Web services testing can be performed using an integrated generic service client, which loads a web service description language file and generates SOAP traffic, or by using AppScan as an HTTP proxy and routing any web services client traffic through it for analysis. This is more suitable for B2B applications. AppScan supports a wide range of common SOAP web services standards, such as WS Security, WS Addressing, SOAP Attachments, XML Encryption, XML Signatures, Username Tokens, and SOAP Messages with Timestamps. AppScan contains dedicated SOAP Web Services testing suites that cover three application tiers. It tests for Web Services infrastructure issues, application layer issues, and SOAP XML parser testing. The demo you will see in a moment will concentrate on how to use the generic services client to exercise and test web services. For this demonstration, we will test a user provisioning web service which exposes several web methods. We'll start by creating a new scan in AppScan. In the first scan configuration wizard window, we will choose a web service scan. Now, we will point AppScan to the location of the service WSDL file. Since we're only going to test for SQL injection vulnerabilities, I've prepared a dedicated scan policy, which contains only SQL injection tests. Let's choose that policy. When we're done with the scan configuration wizard, AppScan will launch the generic service client, which will allow us to interact and exercise with the web service. After the generic service client launches, you will see that it is fetching the WSDL file and populates its interface with the different pieces of information. On the left, we have the request library, which contains a list of available services and methods. We will now exercise the add customer web service method by clicking on it in the request library pane. This web method accepts two arguments, arg0, which denotes the user's first name, and arg1, which denotes the last name. Let's type in the name Jack Smith. Now, all we have to do is to invoke the method. Upon invocation, we notice that the web service raised a security exception. That's right, we forgot to include the WS Security username token. Let's delete this request and start all over, this time adding the required username token by going to the Security for Request tab. After we type the username and password, we'll invoke the request again. As you can see, the service request was successful and the server replied with a message, Customer added. We can now close the generic service client and let AppScan analyze the SOAP traffic. At this point, I usually check the application data view to see if the SOAP message was indeed registered in AppScan. Once we see the SOAP request, we start the testing phase. The test phase usually takes a few minutes, depending on the amount of SOAP messages that require testing. As time goes by, you will notice new security issues appear in the main issue pane. As you can see, AppScan located a high-severity SQL injection vulnerability in our web service. At this point, we can verify this vulnerability by clicking on it and drilling down to see which SOAP parameter was vulnerable. You will notice that a part of the SOAP response message is highlighted. That's the SQL error message. In the request part, you can see that AppScan injected the test payload into the args0 parameter. That's it for today. Our demo has concluded. 
don't forget to visit us at the IBM security website. Thank you and goodbye.